What's going on YouTube? My name is Ricky Screams. Welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about how to loop almost everything in Dead by Daylight. If you guys are new to the channel and you like the video, please do me a favor and smash the like button for me. Now, of course, a quick disclaimer, this is my opinion. I've played the game for a couple of years and this is what has helped me out. If you have different opinions or suggestions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. Now for this video, we're going to be doing the most common structures in most maps. We're going to be leaving out the main buildings because those are not common in every map. The most common place to loop a killer is the shack. So let's go ahead and talk about the shack. The setup is always the same. You have two doorways and one window. One doorway will always have a pallet and that's the side where the window will spawn in the shack. The ideal way to loop a killer in the shack is to come through the doorway that doesn't have the pallet. The reason being is that if you come through this doorway, you can take the fast vault through the window. Remember to always look behind you while you're looping the killer. If the killer follows your path and vaults the window, that gives you enough time to go back in through the side that doesn't have the pallet and vault the window again. Remember that while you're in a chase, if you vault a window three times, it will be blocked by the entity. You can also use this loop in the opposite direction. Meaning that you vault the window from the outside into the shack and you go to the doorway that doesn't have the pallet. When doing this, remember to always give yourself enough space away from the wall so that you can fast vault into the shack. Now some killers might already know what you're doing, so instead of following you through the shack, they might want to go around and cut you off at the window. If this is the case, what you want to do is go through the side that has the pallet and go around the shack. Always making sure you know which side of the killer is coming from. But this should give you enough time to go to the side that doesn't have the pallet and vault the window from the inside and start the same loop that we were talking about all over again. Now for all those killers that like to swing early, you can always fake the window vault and just keep running. TNL walls are another great place to loop killers. And I'm sure you know by now that the reason why they're called TNL walls is because one of the walls looks like a T and the other one looks like an L, both having windows that you can vault. The basic way to loop a killer in this structure is to just vault the window from the inside out and then go around and do it again, over and over again. Now this is only effective if the killer decides to follow you from the outside of the structure. Now the tricky part is when a killer decides to mind game these TNL walls. This is why it's very important to always look behind you and keep an eye on the red stain of the killer. If the killer ever double backs when you're about to vault the window, you can just fake it and go to the other window. Now I do have to admit that this place is not as effective to loop the killer as the shack, but you can definitely take some time away from the killer. The jungle gym with the long wall is one of my favorite places to loop the killer. You can loop the killer in this structure for a very long time, especially if the killer follows your path. Now the ideal way, just like most loops, is to loop the killer clockwise, meaning that you go through the side where the pallet is and you get to fast vault the window from the inside onto the outside. The reason why this structure is so effective is that the killer's best choice is to vault the window because of how long the wall is, going around it will just waste more time. And again, once the killer vaults the window, you can start the loop all over again. Now, if the killer mind games you in this structure, you can always go the opposite way. You know that you have that pallet and you can drop it if you absolutely have to. Otherwise, you can always fake the window and go around one more time. But the best case scenario is for the killer to go the opposite way so that you can loop them like you would in the beginning. Now let's talk about safe and unsafe pallets. A safe pallet would be located in a place where you can loop the killer several times before actually having to drop the pallet. It is considered a safe pallet because you feel comfortable looping the killer even before having to drop the pallet. And after you drop a safe pallet, the killer will not be able to get you until they break that pallet. You can basically loop the killer forever as long as you're on top of your game and you're paying attention. On the other hand, an unsafe pallet is placed in a location where it's unsafe to loop the killer, hence unsafe pallet. You have two options in an unsafe pallet. The first one is to stand right next to the pallet, wait for the killer to make the move, and then drop the pallet at the last second, stunning the killer. The second option is to pre-drop the pallet so that there's more space between you and the killer and it's harder for the killer to get a hit on you. Again, this is an unsafe pallet and you might still get hit regardless of what you pick to do during the situation. A pallet gym is basically a wall with a divider in the middle or an opening with the pallet inside of there. There is really no special way to loop this structure. The only thing I would say is to try and loop the killer clockwise. Hug the walls as tight as possible so that you can get the most loops out of them. Try to make it to where the killer is inside of the structure and you are on the outside so that you can make the most space as possible. 
At that point, you can wait on the other side until the killer starts breaking the pallet. And finally guys, we have the L wall jungle gym. I call this the L wall jungle gym because one of the main walls is basically an L and it has a vault in the middle. The best way to loop this jungle gym is clockwise, just like any other structure. This gives you the ability to fast vault the window. If the killer goes around the inside, you can go around the long L wall and then take the window once more. Now if the killer knows what they're doing, they might want to cut you off at the window. If this is the case, you can always fake the window and just go back to the pallet. If this happens, you'll gain a lot of distance and the window won't be blocked for another 3 vaults. This is why it's very important to always be looking behind you when you're looping the killer. That way you can make a decision whether you want to vault a window or not. Alright guys, with that we make it to the end of the video. I did want to say, like I said in a couple of the clips, the one thing that you want to do whenever you're looping a killer is to make sure that you're always hugging the wall as tight as possible. That way you can make it through the loop in the shortest amount of time. But yeah guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video by smashing the like button for me. And if you want to see a second part to this, just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye! Turn on the TV and turn off the lights. We're playing dead by daylight tonight. You can be Myers or you can be Blight or you can use Dwight and try to survive.